guys. So we're here with Monster Jam. Yeah. Um, and that was one of the big kind of star parts of Zombieland Double Tap. Can you talk a little bit about why you wanted to work in a monster truck? Well, I, I think more than anything, what we like to do is, is Zombieland to us, there's a lot of wish fulfillment in a world of zombies and post, the post-apocalypse. You think of it, and, and most people look at it with dread and, and worry, and you could turn the corner and, and get eaten alive. And we think, well, there's some cool parts about the apocalypse, <laughs> right? You could live in the White House, and you could drive a monster truck. And so we really wanted to tap into this idea of wish fulfillment. There, there is nothing that, you know, any kid growing up in America and probably anywhere dreams about more than probably driving, driving a, a monster, monster truck. truck. We got to drive one today. It was amazing. Like, it was absolutely the coolest. And so, and, and really, uh, cinematically, monster trucks, they're big. The tires are six feet tall. Like, what better way to kill zombies than, than behind a monster truck? Did you guys actually get to drive? Yeah, they put us behind the wheel of El Toro Loco, uh, which is uh, uh, one of the monster trucks here at Monster Jam, and we got to do a few laps. And I mean, you are you are belted into there to the point where even your eyelids have seat belts. Like, I mean, it is just like there's 18 points on the harness, and we, you can barely move your head. It's got this thing called the Han system, so it's got your neck and your head all, all immobilized. And uh, but so you feel super safe, and yet you feel like you got a tank. You're driving it, and it is really, it's really fun, fun. You, and terrifying. Did you do any jumps or anything? And no, they wouldn't let us do jumps. <laughs> yeah. he, all, he got a little bit I up got, on, I got up on, 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 on side the berms. Yeah, it was a little dangerous, but that is so unintentionally. Cool. <laughs> it's been ten years, give or take, since the first Zombie Land. Was there any concern that there wasn't going to be any interest in a sequel? I know it's interesting. Sony did some sort of study where they looked at their library. This was a couple of years ago and, you know, basically listed all their their titles and Zombieland was among them and it people were most excited about a Zombieland sequel. Um, it's, it's I think, a, a group of characters that uh, people have fallen in love with, the audience has fallen in love with. And so we really, we didn't worry about the interest. We worried about making it, you know, worthy of the first. And I think mm -hmm. that's partly why it took so long was everyone holding it to such a high standard and going, okay, now we got to get this, the, you know, the movie has to be worthy of, of the first one. And so... Um, that, that was, I think, the, the biggest concern for us was giving the audience something that, that they would love as much as the first or, or hopefully giving them something like that. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about um, the TV series? I know it's been kind of on again, off again, on again, off again, off again, off again. <laughs> um, is there any legs to it still? I don't think so. We, we actually originally envisioned the first movie as a television series. We mm -hmm. wrote Zombieland 1 as a television pilot before it became a movie. So but it we, sold to CBS. Yeah, we always yeah. wanted to make a, a Zombieland television show. When it became clear after a few years, five or six years, that Zombieland 2 wasn't going to happen as a feature, or so we thought, we decided, well, let's go ahead and make a TV pilot again, which we did. It did not move forward. Uh, so then, But then, three or four years later, the wheels turned, and suddenly we were making a sequel to the movie. So, look, in the future, who knows? I think there's certainly, uh, it's certainly a world worth exploring. It's one we love living in. It's a fun tone that really leads into the comedy and the absurdity and the fun, and yet it, it also has a lot of heart. So why not? We've also thought like Broadway musical maybe, you know, video game, like there def definitely places our minds go. So. It's the only, I feel like the only project in Hollywood ever that started as a TV show, became a movie, went back to, went being, a back to being a TV show, then had a sequel to a movie. So who knows what, what the next step is in it. We would just love to continue to live in the world. So. I would love to see it as a Broadway musical. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? I mean... Dancing zombies yeah, are all that, right? I mean, it's, it's like thriller, right? Thriller, right, exactly. right yeah. <laughs> so then I, I suppose color. asking if uh, if a, a Zombie Land 3 is in the works is. 10 years. Talk to us in 10, ten years. years. <laughs> what it's not yet, but that doesn't mean it won't be. Okay. Well, great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Elise. Guys. <laughs> I'm very warm. Oh, there's no air conditioning. <laughs> All right, we are with we Andrew, the driver of Grave Digger 11.
figure 11. Again, again. 